My name is Ken and I work in the product sales and engagement department at Toyota Motor North America. We're in beautiful San Antonio, Texas, and I've got an all new Tundra right here next to me. I've got Jay and Craig from R&D up in Michigan. They're gonna help us answer some questions on this awesome new Tundra and a Tundra that's so much easier to see now that we've taken the cab, the doors, the fenders, the bed off. This truck here is the hybrid version of this truck. So we've got the three and a half liter twin turbo V6. We've got the one motor hybrid system, 10 speed automatic transmission, and our traditional two speed transfer case. This makes 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque, which is incredibly impressive. But what puts us all together is that one motor hybrid system right there. Craig, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on in this orange piece here? Sure, so this orange piece is what we call the front module. It's sandwiched between the engine and the transmission. Inside we have two components. We have the motor generator and we have a clutch that disconnects the engine from the rest of the drivetrain. So when that clutch is open, the engine can turn off and we can drive in pure electric mode. Or if that clutch is closed, we can turn the engine on and have power go from the engine and a combination of the engine and the electric motor through the wheels. That is an awesome feature and that really sets this truck apart in this half ton segment. The motor is impressive. It's a three and a half liter twin turbo V6. And though this one is the hybrid, if it's not the hybrid version, it still makes an impressive 389 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque. Now these engine options are great, but they don't mean anything if we don't have a great frame. For 22, we've got a fully box frame front to rear, and we've got some new welding techniques, Jay, don't we? It's called Dejima yes. welding. So as Ken mentioned, we do have a brand new frame front to rear. We have a 20% improvement in strength and rigidity for this overall frame setup, as well as a 10% reduction in mass. So it's really impressive what our engineers and our manufacturing staff have been able to do with steel. If we can look in closely, the box frame now, compared to our previous uh, triple tech frame, is very unique design, completely closed section front to rear. And what we're doing is non-linear laser welding on our blanks. This puts our uh, high strength material, our thicker gauges that we need it, where we need it to save mass. Now it's gonna be hard to see, but if you aim in here, you can see there's a very thin seam along our frame rail. This is actually a different strength material, different thickness material to compensate for high stresses and high loads in our frame. And we apply this in our frame in our front kicks and our rear kicks along the frame. We also have some very unique laser welding in the straight sections as well to increase our strength and capacity. So we've got this fully boxed frame front to rear, and we actually even increased the width a little bit in the back to improve towing because this new truck is a premium towing machine. As we move back in this chassis, this is the hybrid battery. And moving on, the other big story on this new Tundra is the multi-link rear suspension. Gone are the leaf springs that you would find in Tundra current gen. New generation Tundra is using a multi-link rear suspension. This one has the optional load leveling rear air suspension. Jay, is there anything you want to point out on this multi-link rear suspension, how it came to be, or maybe a couple features of it? The main point for our multi-link suspension was to really improve the load capability, the ride and handling, and the comfort for our customers as they drive down the road. As you mentioned, Ken, we did widen the back uh, frame rails. This helps with stability of a heavy load and also allows us to move our suspension points outboard to give better efficiency for damping and controlling for our spring rates. If you notice down below in the suspension itself, the blue highlighted areas are our new multi-link suspension. The key point is we also have a uh, lateral control bar. This helps greatly with our tow stability for side to side riding, handling and agility. This suspension setup that we're seeing here is unique. This is showing our rear air suspension. Available on all of our trim grades from SR5 up to 1794. The air suspension is available so we can use it for load leveling. When we put a high load or a high tongue weight, the vehicle return to the proper posture for ride and handling and the suspension tuning. That's just a sneak peek of this new frame, but what's amazing is how much time and effort went into developing this new truck and how incredible this new frame, this new engine hybrid system makes this truck ride and drive.